Hi, you are engaging in the ELA Guidebooks Unit, The American Revolution. The purpose of this video is to help you better understand how people came from Europe to North America and how those people decided to create a country of their own, the United States of America. Be sure to have your handout available and something to write with for the video. When you look at this map, you probably recognize it as the world. There's Africa, Europe, North America, and South America. But it looks weird, doesn't it? This is a map drawn in 1587, before the country of America existed, before George Washington or the Pilgrims. At this time, the world was a very different place. Native Americans lived in tribes across North America, while in Europe, powerful kings ruled the countries of Spain, France, and Britain. Once these kings realized that there was a whole new world across the ocean, they began sending ships and people across the sea to establish colonies. A colony is a settlement or place where people from one country move to live in a new country. In this case, people from Europe were moving to build colonies or settlements in North America. The people that made the long, dangerous journey from Europe to live in North America were called colonists. People made the journey for many reasons. Life in the colonies could be hard and dangerous, but it was also more free. In the American colonies, people could believe in different religions that were against the law back in Europe. Some colonists came because they wanted to make a better life for themselves. Others came to find work or escape wars that were happening in countries where they lived. The kings of Britain, France, and Spain wanted more people to go to the colonies so they could become richer and more powerful. They made things like clothing, weapons, or tea, and sent them to the colonies for the people to buy. Colonists grew things like wheat, rice, and tobacco, and trapped beavers and otters for their furs, which they then sold back to the countries in Europe. This back and forth trade helped make both the colonies and countries back in Europe wealthy. Let's pause and think about the three big groups of people we've talked about so far. First, there were the powerful rulers of Britain, Spain, and France. Then, there were the colonists who came from Europe to North America. Finally, there were the Native Americans who were already living in North America when the colonists arrived. What did each of these groups want during this time? Pause the video and answer the question on your handout at the first stop sign. Then, click play when you are ready to continue. Let's check your thinking. Each of these groups were interested in North America. The powerful rulers in Europe wanted colonies so that they could get more power and wealth. The colonists came to North America to be free to practice the religion of their choice, to make better lives for themselves, or to escape wars that were happening in their home countries. The Native Americans wanted to defend themselves and their way of life. It seems incredible that three tiny countries, Spain, France, and Britain, could control such huge colonies all the way across the ocean. But at this time in history, these three nations were some of the most powerful countries in the world with colonies across the globe. For example, the tiny island of Britain controlled parts of North America, Africa, and India. Not only that, but these three countries were constantly fighting wars, trying to take over each other's colonies in order to gain more wealth and power. Here's a map of North America during this time. Britain's colonies are in yellow, France's colonies are in green, and Spain's are in light brown. In 1754, an important war broke out between the French and the British, the French and Indian War. This war would determine which European country could control North America, France or Britain. Both France and Britain had some Native Americans as allies. People are allies when they agree to help and support each other. Remember, the Native Americans wanted to protect themselves and their way of life. Some Native American tribes believed that the French would help them, so they fought with France and its colonists. 
Other Native American tribes believed that Britain would help them, so they fought with Britain and its colonists. After seven years of fighting, Britain and its Native American allies won and took over the land that belonged to France. Britain now controlled most of North America. Britain was trying to gain wealth from the New World, but the war had cost them money, equipment, and soldiers. To pay for the French and Indian War, the King of Britain decided to tax the colonists. This meant that when the colonists wanted to buy things from Britain, they had to pay extra little money called a tax. This money would go back to the king in Britain. To help pay for all the soldiers that Britain was keeping in North America to protect them from future attacks, Britain also passed laws that forced the colonists to let British soldiers stay in their homes and feed them. Let's stop to think about this question. Why did the king decide to pass laws taxing the colonists? Pause this video now and answer the question at the second stop sign on your handout. When you finish, click play to continue. Let's see how you did. The King of Britain decided to tax the colonists in order to pay for the French and Indian War. Britain had fought for seven years against France and their Native American allies, and the King believed it was only fair that the colonists should pay for it. These taxes made a lot of colonists angry. Remember, many colonists had come to North America to get away from all of the rules that the King in Europe made them follow. They didn't think it was fair for them to have to pay for a war between Britain and France. Being forced to pay taxes made these colonists start to ask if they would be better off without a king telling them what to do. Not only that, many colonists did not want to let British soldiers stay in their homes and eat their food. Eventually, this anger caused many of the colonists to decide to fight against Britain in order to form their own country, the United States. You have learned how North America was settled by colonists from Europe and why many colonists began to wonder if they would be better off without a king telling them what to do. You will use this knowledge as you engage with the guidebook unit, The American Revolution. When you finish this video, be sure to turn in your handout to your teacher.